The Middlesex squad returned to Stellenbosch today to complete the two-day game against Stellenbosch University after yesterday's fine century from Nick Compton and 50s from both Nick Gubbins and Stephen Eskenazi had seen the visitors post a total just shy of 350 on the opening day. Today was the turn of the university batsmen who set about their run chase on what continued to look like a fabulous surface to bat on. The university's innings got off to a steady enough start with the openers putting on 49 for the first wicket before it was Harry Podmore who claimed the first wicket, striking in the 18th over. A second wicket partnership of 75 was then put together but broken by Finn with a score on 124 before Rayner then struck twice in quick succession to put the hosts in a bit of trouble by mid-afternoon on 135 for four. Stellenbosch's middle order then rallied with a 107 run fifth wicket partnership before it was brought to an end by Ravi Patel in the 78th over of the day. With the hosts batting out the remaining overs play and finishing on a respectable 287 for five, the match ended in a well-fought draw. Another great workout for the side over the two days here in Stellenbosch, ahead of what promises to be a long and exciting season ahead. With the side travelling back to London Gatwick tomorrow, thoughts are already turning to the three-day friendly in the Oval against Surrey in what no doubt would promise to be slightly less clement conditions. Always checking out, leaving the hotel after two week tour. Ravi and Ryan. Franklin, Mr. Rayner, Mr. Podmore. Management, Johnson, Coleman, and Mitchell. Home again, home again. Huh? Nice business class straight flight to Heathrow. Yeah, can't wait. You're going to work your magic dust, get us some exit seats, otherwise, there'll be words <laughs> at home. Some uh, yeah. sore knees as well. Yeah, my back's hurting just thinking about it to be honest. But been a good trip, been worth it. Had yeah, a good week. Thanks very much. Very good. Awesome. Thanks, Better than being in a tent at Radley, put it that way. Why? Well, what do you, what do you want me to say? <laughs> Sun, sea, beautiful. And those feet. Look at those. You wouldn't be, we'll be walking around northward in them, would you? Well, you no, would. I, but... wouldn't, I wouldn't want to expose anyone to my feet any longer than they had to be, to be honest. But, yeah. <laughs> What in Rome? Cheers. Pleasure. Let's get Podmore over here. Podders, come to my office. You had a good couple of weeks? Yeah, really enjoyed it. Uh, been great. Thanks, Gus. Cheers for the holiday. <laughs> I was going to say, Last year you said thanks for the holiday, it's the same again this year, is it? Uh, it, was, it was good, a bit more cricket involved this year, but had a great time. And, uh, looking forward to going home and getting the season started. <coughs> With Glamorgan. Oh, cheers, yeah, thanks for yeah. <laughs> Of course, the last dog to get here. The one who should know better. <coughs> got a different flight to the rest of us, Finney. We're Emmett's, he's Qatar, so he's travelling with his mates on his own. Hoping to get some leg room. He's not used to turning right on aeroplanes, but that's where he is at this moment in time. Like the rest of us scrummaging for an emergency exit seat. Probably good that your luggage the last time actually, so you can be puked first yeah. off and quickly get out. Toss he always like? Fit. Mitch, what are you doing in my seat? Thanks for joining us, Stephen. 
Two weeks here in Cape Town, not too much to do. Right. How kind is it for Gus to pay everyone to come on holiday? No, I'm very kind. I haven't. Uh, Mr. Goldie has. <laughs> Sat here with James Franklin, with his Irish boss. <laughs> I want to be here without a Gus. <laughs> Had a good tour, enjoyed yourself? Very good. Um, excellent coming down here for two weeks. Uh, with us been outstanding facilities have been awesome I think the guys are really benefited from it so hopefully when we get back to the cold of London um, you know we're, we're well progressed to do well through pre-season and get the season starting well which uh, which part of it enjoyed the most other than the day at the venue uh, uh, I think just the weather getting out of the English winter and, and having sun on the backs uh, you know we have really nice warm conditions 30 degrees pretty much every day being outside, um, open wicket trainings, um, the facilities at Western Province Cricket Club and at Newlands and at Stellenbosch were excellent. So um, all of it was was um, you know, very enjoyable. And you had a back operation at the end of the summer. Yep. Um, moving around pretty well. You must be happy with the way things are going. Yep. Yeah. It's uh, it's progressed really nicely. I was I was late. Laying low pretty much up until Christmas, but since the New Year's come around, um, things have progressed nicely for myself. So, uh, sort of leaving here, Cape Town, you know, very confident of being able to get through a, a long season ahead, but um, hopefully a very enjoyable one. In the appendix, uh, we had sort of cutting you open on both sides, weren't they? <laughs> yeah, I'm waiting for the third operation because they say <laughs> things come in come three. So, no, I've got myself tidied up over the winter, so hopefully fully fit and functioning for the summer. So the oval Tuesday morning. Yeah, bitterly cold. Six degrees, northerly wind. You ready for that? It's a bit grim, isn't it? Um, <laughs> yeah, look, we're going to come back down to earth. I think when we arrive at Gatwick uh, tomorrow morning. So just the way it is, early season England. It's always cold. So yeah, the jerseys will be packed for Tuesday at the oval. Thank you.